Now, a section of MPs on the Parliament's Education Committee want the Minister of Education to have the implementation of the new education curriculum. Led by Joseph Sewungu, the MPs claim the implementation of the new curriculum is not budgeted for in the financial year at 2020-2021 budget. Now, they are also against making PE and Swahili compulsory subjects, yet agriculture has been made an elective subject. We have more. Sum up this. We are saying one... Government holds this arrangement until when it has a sustainable uh, implementation plan to have the curriculum implemented. But two, some of the subjects must not be made compulsory. And here specifically Swahili, which is a hobby. It is for leisure in as far as Uganda is concerned. We don't need it. It is spoken by the poorest people in the world. We don't have trade links with them that are very serious. It is not economically viable to have Swahili to Ugandanese. We need Chinese, we need Arabic, because that's where we are exporting our labor, our people, on a daily basis. These Kenyanese, Tanzanianese, Rwandese are as poor as Ugandanese. We only go there for, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> so we cannot spend money to have Swahili compulsory, where we actually don't need it. It is hobby. I don't know how to term it in any other simpler way, but a, a hobby is only for leisure, where we can enjoy talking with, to friends, to neighbors, and that's all. We can meet with them in English, which they are already adopting as their of the second language. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, pre, uh, last week, the government of Uganda presented to, uh, to Parliament the National <coughs> Development Program 3. And this program of development from 2020 <coughs> to 2025 was particularly centered at teaching Ugandans or creating the sense of creativity into the minds and, and uh, into the minds of Ugandans, thereby creating jobs for themselves and even being more innovative. So, when you look at the new guidelines of the National Curriculum Development Centre, which we are passed, making those three or four subjects compulsory, ignoring those which could create innovativeness in the sense of Ugandans, it doesn't make sense to us as members of parliament. Because if you ignore agriculture and then make a Swahili compulsory, then what are you creating in the minds of Ugandans? Do you want Ugandans to just enjoy speaking Swahili without getting anything? Because Swahili doesn't make money. Yet agriculture does for our economy. Two, what is the sense of making PE compulsory? Thus, the letters coming in from Parliament as legislators call upon the Education Ministry to halt the implementation of the new all-level curriculum, arguing that it was not budgeted for in the 2020-2021 budget. That's a story we shall continue to keep tabs on to bring you more details in our subsequent news bulletins.